We have here with us Dr. Kumud Mehta, a consultant pediatrician and pediatric nephrologist, and a true stalwart in her field. Today we have a small talk on blood in urine. Ma'am, we would like you to share your experiences with us. What should parents do if they notice blood in the urine of their child? Actually, the parents get very frightened and the doctor also gets very concerned when they find that a child is past red urine. Now, all red urines are not blood in the urine, but of course there are very simple tests available to say whether it is really the blood or just red color. And that is done by a chemical test or dipsticks that shows positive tests for blood. Then one needs to send the urine for microscopy to a lab and if there are more than five red cells in a particular field, then it is called that there is a blood in the urine. Now the causes are, some of them are very serious, while some of them are not so serious. So the best thing for the parents to do is to collect every sample of urine in a transparent glass tube or a plastic tube and keep it so that we know whether this redness in the urine is fading away or whether it is becoming worse. What is the exact shade of the red, whether it is a cola colored urine or whether it is a bright red urine. The cola colored urine or tea colored urine is commonly found if the bleeding comes from the kidney. While the bright red urine comes if the blood is coming from the lower urinary tract. So that is one simple clue which gives to a doctor to decide what kind of tests one should perform to find out the origin of the blood in the urine. The second thing, of course, a fresh sample of urine has to be sent to the lab and the doctor has to be consulted. The urine is tested for whether there are any other things, abnormalities like protein in the urine, excess of protein in the urine and the blood in the urine together means some serious condition. If there are any crystals or casts or pus cells, so it gives clue as to what should one do. because. Merely knowing blood in the urine is not sufficient to start the treatment. Then the next important is, has the child taken any drugs or medicines which could have caused blood in the urine? There are a number of painkillers nowadays, ibuprofen, nimicillide, so on and so forth, which can cause blood in the urine, but it is just that one particular episode. And if you stop the drug, then the child may not get blood in the urine again. As opposed to that, there are serious conditions, some of them are hereditary. Some of them can go into kidney failure over a period of time. So one needs to ask whether there are any other family members who had blood in the urine or had suffered from kidney diseases, kidney failure, kidney transplant, etc. That gives us a clue as to how much and how deep we should investigate the child before we tell the parents whether this condition is serious or not serious. Then a whole lot of list of rarer conditions are also there. So after doing the urine test, the simple and the best thing to do is to do a sonography because that will definitely pick up whether there are any kidney stones which is causing the blood or some malformations of the kidney the child is born with like polycystic disease and a number of other conditions. And that is simple, minimal, first-line investigations that we advise. Uh, Ma'am, what is the implication of blood in the urine? Implication, as I mentioned, this blood comes either from the kidney or from the lower urinary tract. And the lower urinary tract diseases are comparatively less serious, like a kidney stone or an infection or some drug causing or trauma. The child might have played football or whatever and some blunt trauma on their abdomen which has not been, you know, noted. That could also give rise to blood in the urine. Some children have what is called exercise induced blood in the urine. They play the whole day and evening urine is red in color. Morning urine after resting becomes clear. So even this Variation between the morning and the evening sample of urine can give some clue and goes without saying exercise induced blood in the urine or a drug induced blood in the urine is not much serious. One can take care of it. So depending on the cause 
वी हैव टू बी वरीड अबाउट द ब्लड इन द यूरिन और इट मे बी वन सिंगल एपिसोड एंड इट नेवर अफर्स अगेन अपार्ट फ्रॉम द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ टेस्ट दैट यू हैव मैंशन वॉट आर द अदर टेस्ट दैट माइट बी रिक्वायर्ड इन या एज आई मैंशन इफ देर इज अ रिकरेंट ब्लड इन द यूरिन एंड इफ वी हैव वट वी कॉल रूल्ड आउट द पॉसिबिलिटी दैट देर इज अ ब्लीडिंग डिजॉर्डर इन जनरल लाइक द चाइल्ड गेट्स हर्ट एंड स्टार्ट ब्लीडिंग प्रोफ्यूजली दैट मीन्स इट इज नॉट ओनली इन द किडनी एंड द यूरिनरी ट्रैक बट इट कैन अकर एनी वे Now this is a little bit more serious condition. We need to run a test. We call hematological test to find out whether the child is a bleeder or whether there is any other member. Then finally, if we cannot find the cause, and if urine shows blood and protein repeatedly, and also over a period of time we find that develops high blood pressure or the kidney functions are deranged, we need to do a kidney biopsy. that is an ultimate final diagnosis of finding blood in the urine when the first few sets of investigation do not give us any clue because that's a serious condition there are number of conditions called iga nephropathy then there are conditions all tongue twisting names men's basal proliferative kidney disease pocky glomerulus sclerosis and so on and so forth which can give rise to ultimately what we call end stage kidney disease over a period of time and one gets alerted because the blood in the urine is the you know what we call classical presentation in many of them so kidney biopsy may be required in selected cases if the blood in the urine does not stop and some of the tests which we perform shows that there is a immunological underlying disease Thank you ma'am thank you for sharing your experiences with us